Hello, this is Pam from Down Under Recumbent Trike Ventures. Today I'd like to do a video about the visibility of flags. The flags that we have on our trikes are a Phobos flag and they are made by a company called Southwinds, which I believe is now being taken over by another company. Still available. The video today will be showing you how the flags can disappear in different scenarios and I'll just show you what does work and what doesn't. One thing with the flags that I'd like to talk about is that different colours can have a different visibility. We find that the orange ones stand out far greater than the green ones. So the green ones can disappear into the, the greenery beside you. What we've done with ours, we've also added the streamers. And what this does is that when you're riding at speed, the flags will fly straight out behind you and they ne become nearly invisible. But by putting the little streamers on the end, they flap horizontally the sideways and give you that extra visibility. So we sort of got a combination of the different colours, so, but nevertheless, as I said, the orange ones still seem to be the ones that stand out the best. streamers flapping out from side to side. We're probably going about 20 kilometers an hour and you can see they're quite popping quite vigorously. As I move further away they're not quite as visible but against the blue sky that you can still see them but you can imagine against the greenery how sometimes they wouldn't stand out as much. This is how we would all like our flags to look at all times but it just depends on which way the wind is blowing. And this is where the breeze is not as strong. We're only probably going about 10 kilometres along here, but you can still see the streamers still work pretty vigorously there. So it's quite a, a good example. And this is James, and you can see how the difference between the orange flag and the, it's a yellow and blue flag on the right. As we come up the street, you'll see that um, the orange one, you'll still be able to see it. But as we get, as he gets further away, the yellow and blue one can disappear into the skyline like about here and this is another another example on the Petrie to Kipperin bikeway this is how we think our flags should look but they sometimes look like this when they go straight out behind you and that's why I put the streamers on the streamers tend to go sideways and in other lights you can see how it's the flags here my two flags you know how colorful they are now they nearly disappeared here this one's an example of them disappearing into the tree here we have a green flag and ahead there is a red a ready orange flag with white streamers and they're both quite visible here but when we go round onto the Deegan deviation you will see how they can disappear into the surroundings this is why I added both orange and green streamers on the ends of our flags so that if you couldn't see one colour in the flag you could see the other as you can see here the green flag does disappear into the surroundings on the uh, Sandgate foreshore here, um, John's flag with the white streamers, it disappears into the clouds but you can still see the orange flag, so that's really good. Pauline's got three colour flags here, she's got the green, orange and blue, which makes them very versatile for different situations. And as you can see here, they stand out quite well. Very shortly you will see uh, Mike has got his uh, streamers on his arrow. They do tend to fade a little bit in the light, but one good thing that Mike has got is he's got an extra light on, on the top of his flagpole. One question we have been asked too is about do we get extra drag with our flags because they're quite a large flag, but it depends on the, the, the um, fabric thickness and ours aren't that thick and we've never had any real experience with bad drag on our flags. 
There's Pauline's flags again along the waterfront. And Leanne here has made some um, flags out of kites, which is very, very clever. And she's very colourful and very easy to be seen. And this is a day that we had a group ride and all the three of us showing all our flags flapping in the breeze. And our latest addition to our trailer, I've got a spiral flag, which we're still sorting out. I may actually take one of the orange flags off the trailer to give it a bit more room to move around. And But I'm sure it will give Molly's trailer an extra level of um, visibility. This was a spiral flag's first outing today and we found we had to get it up get up speeds up to about 20 kilometers before it would start spinning but it still might be getting hampered by the top flag so maybe when I remove that it will spin a little bit freer but it looks really good when it starts spinning concludes this video for today. I hope this video has given you some food for thought and some information regarding different situations and visibility with flags. I hope you all continue to stay safe and if you like this video please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you for watching.